Welcome back viewers to another episode of Lucky Lucker. Last time round, we beat up more of the Mamluks. They put up a good fight, but we won out in the end thanks to the Mountain Fort at Al Karak. This fort was legendary. But going ahead, we can't fight. Welcome back viewers to another episode of Lucky Lucker. Welcome back viewers to Lucky Lucker. Last time round, we took out the Mamluks. They put up a very good fight, but in the end, they could not sustain the heat. Mostly because of this one fort here, Al Karak, which they had mothboard at the start of the war, which I just sniped, just took it from them without a fight. And after that, they simply could not take it back because it's a glorious mountain fort. Mountain forts are absolutely amazing. It turned my general, who is a 1512, into effectively a 37 uh, general. Which is crazy. 37 is uh, effectively here. Talking about a 3 star general here, so that's pretty good. They don't have any more mountain forts, I think. Uh, going to, oh, they do actually. A Sir is mountain fort. So that could be a pain ass to fight next time, but the thing is though, Mamluks has lost their capital, they lost most of their really good provinces, which means they're not going to pull up nearly as much of a fight next time around, whereas we've only grown stronger. The Ottomans aren't too happy with what we did, they have, uh, what is this, aggressive expansion, minus 165, and 1.9 yearly, we're talking about something like 80 years, more even, more than 80 years for that to go away, so uh, Ottomans are never going to like us, but that's okay, because as long as we don't piss off more than four people at a time, no one will really care. Mamluks is two, Thlemcen is three, in fact Thlemcen is about to drop off that list anyway, so pretty much we only have two people who are angry with us. Now we can try and do something here, because I saw this uh, at the end of last episode. Austria is currently attacking Scotland, well more specifically England who is allied to Austria, is attacking Scotland. Scotland, who is just a two-province minor. I'm surprised France is still the ally. Because if I was France, I would have dropped out already, unless I had plans for England. But, yeah, that's really unfortunate. So now, uh, France is fighting against Austria and the Papal State. Which is interesting, to say at least. I don't want France to get so weak that it won't help defend me. But at the same time, this might present us with opportunities because if France wins, which uh, they are going to win, right? Because if that's the heart of the French army, I'm a little worried for the French. There's only 30,000 there, 10,000 there, uh, 7,000, 8,000 here. Where the hell's the rest of your army, France? Because I know you have a bigger army than that, right? Let's have a look. Allies. France has 86,000. Yeah, so this is only something like um, 40,000, 50,000, so you're not 30,000 somewhere, which I can't see. Down here, perhaps? Yep. Oh, France, I hope you get those back home soon enough, because you are going to need them to fight Austria. Austria is absolutely no pushover. That said, I still have Spain as an ally, I still have Hungary, so it's, you know, not all lost. But if France does win really well, really well, sounds weird, doesn't it? If the France kicks Austria's ass, we may be able to take advantage of it by attacking Milan, uh, Savoy. Boy, Savoy is huge again. I don't like this. I really don't like this. This is a piss poor development, you could say. Our ally in Bavaria is not a particularly good ally, all things considered, because he is weak. He hasn't done anything to expand himself. Possibly because the last time he did, he got smacked right back down by Austria. In fact, I think. Bavaria at one point owned. That's uh, yep. There we go. Bavaria used to own uh, Stroberg, Strobing, and that's a claim. Yeah, so Bavaria used to be bigger. I'm pretty sure Bavaria used to own Salzburg as well, but now they don't. That was what uh, 35 of Ireland worth. So it's a decent chunk, considering that's pretty much like your entire country added together. So that's a lot of ammo you lost there. So sucks for you, I guess. But hey, they helped us out in earlier wars, so we're keeping them, I guess. I mean, that's a very poor reason to keep someone. I mean, I'm much rather have Switzerland, honestly. But they don't want to be my ally. Fair enough. Well, uh, I think what I might do... Theodoro... 
Oh, Tan. Okay, you can come home from Theodoro. I don't know why I try to improve with Theodoro. Theodoro, he's Sunni. No one he's angry. Doesn't matter though. It's too far north to really matter. The Griffin expansion is really localized for the most part. That's why Thlemsen and Morocco doesn't really care. God damn it, Thlemsen. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you so bad. In fact, I'm gonna start spying on you. I'm gonna start spying on you, and I noticed this as well. Spain, we have seven favors with, so which means uh, we may be able to call Spain in to help out soon. Maybe. And speaking of which, yes, Spain's a thing. Aragon no longer exists. Now we have Spain. So that's kind of cool. Sort of. Let's build a spy network on Thlemsen. We'll get some claims going and we can potentially start warring them soon. We're still hemorrhaging cash, of course, so we can't go to war anytime too soon, but, you know. We lost a claim against Mantua, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. I just need my money situation to fix itself as soon as possible. Come on, call faster. Is all of this Egyptian? Nope, some of it is Syrian, some of it is, uh, what is this called? Bedouin. Hmm. Unhappiness amongst the artisans. Artisans, uh, lose ability? Hell no. Lose money. Ah, <sighs> lose money, I guess. It's not really a choice. And yet we have more loans. Well, let's speed the game up a little bit. Cologne de Cleon Verdun. Can we get an advisor to reduce unrest? No, we cannot. Okay, let's keep converting. I'm going to convert uh, over here. Moscow de Cleon Theodoro. Okay. Oh, and we have enough spine network strength to. Uh, became more mom looks so hmm, I don't like that I might have to do harsh treatment I don't want that to fire but either way um, let's there's a fort but it's a flatland fort translate going to be mothboard anyway I'm going to fabricate a claim on here we're slowly making our way east and I say progress wise we're doing a pretty good job There's a lot of rebels. There's a lot of rebellions. I mean, most of that number will go away once we lose the overextension. Hmm. Oh, money's actually positive, you say? Well, I'll be damned. Let's repay that loan. Just please don't get to 9%. If it gets to 9%, I'm definitely going to have to do harsh treatment. Because I don't want to deal with 35k worth of rebels. That looks bad as well. Thamson's having a fabricator on us. Okay. Whatever. Acceptable. Keep a very close eye on that. What's this? Ooh, we get purchase ability. Oh, that would have been... Some of this would have been very helpful. Such as war score versus other religions. I quite like that one. I guess... We may as well take that because I don't see any of these others being particularly useful right now. That'll help us in the next war against the Mamluks. Well, in the peace table anyway. Not so much in the war itself. 9%. Okay. Uh, yep. Harsh treatment. No choice. Cost 200 military. So expensive. But like I said, I can't afford that. I can't afford to fight against a 35k rebellion right now. It's too expensive. Hijazi Separatist, 8k. Okay, I'm gonna send 10k of you. In fact, let's make a 10k army of the same mercs. Because we need to recover manpower as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, it's 10k mercs, effectively. Take you. And that's gonna happen in Tabuk. So you go there. I'm gonna turn this fort on. Command is low. have at least some maintenance going so we can at least recover some troops. And keep an eye on this still. So it's slowly dropping off. Walks are also contributing to the unrest as well naturally. Okay, this is almost done for some of it. Come on. We're losing great power status. To Hungary. 
Okay, that's okay. Gained core province on Al Garbia. Okay. Religious civil disorder. Hmm. Okay, most of that's gone now. Excellent. So now it's done down to 23k, which is still significant. France is a pope. That's fine. Well, paper controller. Same thing, right? <laughs> okay, it's not quite, but you know what I mean. Uh, Thlemcen. Sure. Oh, right, I see. Thlemcen. Gain core on Cairo. Excellent. Uh, let's do... Let's do on Constantine. I claim that is. Particular is 70%, but that's not happening time too soon. Suez is done. New coin. Uh, I don't want to get too inflation. That's nasty, but I don't have a choice. Can I buy down inflation? I could. 75 admin. Let's do it. It's better than getting the nasty inflation events for being over 5. Uh, Theodoro doesn't exist anymore. Genoa annex them. <laughs> so Genoa's making a comeback. Well, good for you, Genoa. Look at me. I'm Crimea now. <laughs> yeah, good for you, Genoa. What is this anyway? Uh, Diplo tech and military tech. Okay. Well, for now, just waiting for rebellions. And wait for the money situation to recover a bit. Mercuria declare Mamluks. Mercuria declare Mamluks. Mercuria. Ottomans, Mercuria, Ethiopia, Dongola. I should consider that as well because Mercuria might take some of the provinces I want. And which means I will have to. Okay, hi Ottomans. I don't like the fact that we share a border now. That does not make me feel comfortable. Also, that red there probably means Timurid is still alive, right? I'm not sure, but that red makes you think of Timurids. But Timurids usually are dead by now, so it's a little weird. I mean, if Ottomans fight the Timurids, the Timurids don't stand a chance. Uh, I don't know. Could be a Timurids, could be someone else, I have no idea. But yeah, Ottomans didn't really get to anywhere around here. I guess I don't really care about this land that much. What I really want is make sure I have safe passage this way. I prefer if I don't have to deal with too much border gore. And by border gore, I mean messy borders like this. And if they get in my way, that might actually happen. Diplomat from Savoy, okay. Can we fabricate more? No, we can't. Ah, Kazan's still alive. Barely. Muscovy is huge. That's normal. Okay, can we make any more states right now? Do we want to make any more states right now? I think we do. Palestine would be a good state to have. Rosetta. Lithuania declare on a Livonian order. Cairo is a good state to have, that's for sure. I shall call that. And nobility wants something. Don't want to go on Cairo? Eh, maybe. Okay, there's one province in this area. 3 plus 18, it's not that much. 24, what's in here? Okay, this is actually a very good province, but two of them are owned by Ottomans, so I'm never going to get them anyway. Stay on Palestine. This actually would be a really good state if it wasn't for the Ottomans. Do I want to state it? <sighs> not really. 6, this one's a terrible one. That's only, uh,. 6 plus 7. 3, 13. It's horrible. Tabuk. Which area are you part of? You're part of this area here. So this is 10 plus 3. It's 13. It's terrible. Stay of Hajaz is not too bad. It's a lot of provinces. Includes Medina and Mecca. 32. So I'll probably state that. How many states do we even have right now? F 3 that is. We have only one free. So let's actually not waste the last one. I want to keep the last one. And speaking of keeping the last one, let's go back to my old... Oh, I can't. I need core first. That's okay. Tunis and Genoa. Hopefully they don't, they don't actually revolt, but I mean, if they do, I can't really do much about it. I just have to fight them. Tunis or Genoa? They're probably right up in Genoa. Probably. 
But hey, I mean, almost all of it's gone now. It's just Hijazi and uh, Luck and Step are particularists now. So let's get these guys. Unfortunately, that's a very big rebellion. 23k is no small rebellion. I think I might as harsh treatment them again because when this is done, which is about to be, we will lose 1.3 from overextension. Ah, but they're not going to go away anytime too soon. Damn, it's annoying. So we probably have to fight them. 23k. We don't have 23k available. And if it's right up in Genoa, 27 development versus 24 development. They're going to cause devastation, which is, means I'll lose prosperity in this area, which is going to be really annoying. So I don't like that either. The Hadrasi are taking ages. Influential Preacher. A young devout preacher has spoken out recently about how great our adherence to the teachings of the Holy Father in Rome is. This can only be good for our future. Gain papal influence, gain prestige. Give me papal influence. Because papal influence means free stability. Also, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned, I don't think I did. We gain a whole bunch of power projection in our war against Mamluks because we conquered a ton of land from the Mamlukis. Mamlukians. But anyway, I'm not gonna wait for these guys anymore because I have to go back here to deal with the particulars. The fort and Genoa is active, so take a while to siege it down. Uh, what's happening over here now? It's still at war. Austria is still at war. Is the French army down here gone yet? Yep, it's gone. Which means the French has all the armies over here. No, they do not. Why is Portugal involved? Oh, because Portugal's out of England. So Portugal's going to get kicked off, um, kicked out of war soon enough. Excellent. 24 is not a bad state, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it's not really as good as Central Egypt. This is 50 development. No, no, that's 32 and that's 25. Yeah, so that's 57 development right there. That's a really good state. Oh well. Uh, Scarlet Central Peter Papal State, Papal State's out. So that's probably a good thing. I mean, France is going to be winning. Again, I'm hoping France will kick their ass out of, uh, well, kick Austria's ass. Make Austria not want to answer any calls of calls to arms against Savoy, and then what I'll do is release Milan and attack Milan. Can I get Spain to have join me in favors? No, he cannot. Why is Spain involved? What? Oh, you're a war of Spain as well. Why? Surely Scotland's not allied to Spain. I think what, what I think what must have happened there. Let's have a look. Opinions. Spain. Scottish opinion of Spain is 59. Spanish opinion of Scotland is 50. Okay, so it's not enforced peace. I guess it must mean there's an imbalance of great powers. But Austria is a great power, sure. Oh, I see. So it was Austria and England versus just France. So Spain must have joined in uh, using the great power mechanic. Fascinating. I could have totally done that as well if I didn't have... Which I don't have actually, so I could have done it as well, as I didn't notice. Probably because my diplomats are busy. That's interesting. Austria entered a military alliance with Poland. I can't say I'm happy to hear that. Also, what's this? Brandenburg is a junior partner of Poland. When did that happen? I mean, Brandenburg is kind of pathetic. It's just one province minor over here in Rupen. We lost Berlin, they lost everything here Newmark, Sternmark. Uh, yeah. Brandenburg has seen better days. Poland is also nowhere near as strong as it really should be, all things considered, so. That's a very weak Poland, roughly speaking, but it's still pretty strong compared to, say, me. Me, who's still struggling with money and manpower and whatnot. Renew a loan? Yep, I know. If only somebody will pay off my loans, huh? Wouldn't that be good? Wow, Spain is actually losing this fight here? Oh, it's one heavy and a ton of transports. Yeah, that makes sense. Trader died. Okay. Improve relations or deploy rap? Let's go for improve relations. Gain a core province on Tabuk. Is my 10k there yet? Yes, it is. Let's get you guys here as well to Lucker. 
I still haven't risen up yet, which is interesting in itself. Hijazi is still... looks like they want to rise up, but they still haven't. I mean, I got the forts on both places, so it's fine. Whichever one rises up. Oh, look at that. My Mukian army is so small now. Uh, my dodge. We've managed to convert heretics. Okay. Let's keep converting. Convert this province here. And then after that, we can go to the meaty provinces of these ones over here. In actual Egypt itself. You alone. Great. We are capped on military points. We can do some development, I guess. Or we can buy a general. No, let's do some development. Um, I believe I had the edict active here. I did. Got 63. 62, because they're both hills. Let's remove that edict. And let's find somewhere else that's cheap ish to develop in. Like over here, I guess, in Egypt. Al Gabia. Where are you? Al Gabia, right here. Okay, let's have an edict of cheaper development over here. And let's see if we can develop a few times. There we go. Should tie us over for two years before um, we can get. Okay. Particular has risen up. Cool, I guess. Uh, but anyway, before we can get attack without having to pay ahead of time penalties. Is what I was trying to say before I was really disrupted. Okay, now we just wait for morale to come back and then we'll go kill that army. Although, if I'm lucky, I guess Spain. Okay, look, you come home. So while I'm at it, uh, let's fabricate more claims. Say on this province here. Oh, uh, great, I guess. You do, you'd want military access, okay. Here, I'll give you military access. Be happy, Mamluks. I'm letting you through my lands, which were just your lands not too long ago. Also, Spain, I'll give you military access. Cool. And uh, France, I'll give you military access as well. And Papal State, I've already given you military access, great. Unfortunately, they're way gone now because when they were over here, they, like the Spain over here, might be willing to, uh, ooh, that's interesting. If I'm really lucky, no, Scott's gonna peace out eventually because he's really fully occupied, isn't he? Yeah, Scott's got nothing else, I believe. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Because I was thinking, again, if Austria is being up bad enough, um, they might decide to return these provinces to me. Maybe. If I'm really lucky. Let's kill these separatists. Leave behind all the damaged ones. In fact, let's leave behind most of them because we don't need that many to kill the Hadrazi separatists. The 11k should be plenty. In fact, we don't even need 11k. The 10k should be plenty. Go over here to Gaza. Oh, oh! Ethiopia, my man! Thanks, Ethiopia, you're the best. Okay, that's, that's actually really helpful. In that case, you don't have to go anywhere. Uh, come back here. That is pretty cool. And now we just have Sunni Zealots who don't actually care to rise up anymore. For a reason? I don't know. To turn the maintenance back down again so we're making money again. Also, these are all the mercs, right? These are all mercs. You can go. Our army is more pathetic, once again. Oh well. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Hey, a Spain? Oh, I see. Morocco declared on Spain. France declined the call to arms. Ottomans has answered the call to arms. 
I don't know. France, why you do this? I don't know. Because I am in the firing line here. Ottomans are going to fully occupy all my African provinces. All the Spanish allies have just declined their call to arms. I'm the only one left. That's a worry. Who are you fighting? Morocco, Ottomans, and Thlemcen. I am in the... I'm so... I don't want to be in this war. But the problem is, I also kind of need Spain. God damn it. That's kind of bad. When did Morocco ally the Ottomans? I mean, all of this potentially could have been resolved. If I had declared on Clemson earlier, promising Spain territory, but the problem is, Spain doesn't want any of Clemson's territory. The Ottomans are taking advantage of France being distracted. You have a truce with also the Papal State, which means the Papal State also uh, decided to not join, right? Actually, no, Papal State is from a different war. So, was I really the only ally, me and France? I don't see anything good that can happen if I join this war. I will get completely wrecked because these two, in fact, all my, most of my provinces are sandwiched between Ottoman and Morocco and Flamson. It will not end well for me. My home province will be fine, but everything else will not be. Uh, this seems like a bad idea. Spain is strong, but not that strong. I mean, Spain has a lot of development. But it doesn't mean they are strong enough to... Uh... Damn it, Spain, why did you have to use your great power mechanic? <laughs> I mean, obviously that could have been me as well. It also means that France right now is not willing to join, uh, co answer any calls to arms. Which is also interesting information. Like, if I want to attack Savoy... Okay, I can't because I have a pending call to arms from Spain. Uh, but here's the thing, if I didn't have all of this land here, I wouldn't care, i will be happy to join this call to arms because they wouldn't be able to attack me easily. They'll have to try to do naval landings, which AI are terrible at doing. But because I do have all this land here in North Africa, it seems like a terrible idea to get involved against the Ottomans. Not like this. I mean, I could try to take advantage of this, obviously, by attacking Spain myself in five years' time. It's tempting. Because hmm. I will still have France and Hungary. Hungary has something like, what, 60k troops, almost? 52k troops, and France still has a lot of troops, but... I, did, I was kind of hoping not to have to do this to Spain. Oh, this is a tough decision. You see Ottoman troops right there on my borders. So you know what's up. Ottomans, how big is your army? Ottomans. 129,528 troops. To my 17,000 troops. Yeah. I'm going to basic, be basically no help. How big is the Spanish army? 65,000. Spain does not stand a chance. Uh, if it was just Morocco and Thlemsen, I'd be happy to do this, but... Uh, I was hoping to be able to use them as well, because I, I had eight favors with them. And I could have annulled their alliance. <sighs> Sorry, Spain. I can't. But hey, I mean... France also declined, so that's my reason. Papal sanction of war has expired. So my manpower recovery rate has gone down a little bit. Sorry, Spain. Decline of merchant class. Burgos loses 10 influence. Okay. Okay. Can I do anything with that information? Okay, nobility wants land, but I renewed that, didn't I? 
I'm going to give this to the nobility. A uh, nobility will grab this, and I give this to the burgers. Cool. What's Maldux doing? Okay, he's still fighting Mercuria. Clone. Sure. Caracuse with the piece of Boltard. They have the same color as Karakunu, which is just weird. Election time! Same guy. We're maxed out on double points again. Funny that. Uh, let's keep buying our mercant mercantilism. It's now at 47, because why not? Also, military power is getting there as well. Let's go and buy. Uh, develop this province here a bit more. And that's also part of the same area as these two, so I may as well raise military power here as well while I'm at it. Flame fabricated. Okay. Let's go ahead and. Suez seems good. Suez is also Egyptian. One year time. Like, I've expanded a lot, but Austria has pieced out. Okay. Cousins Valley against Cleves. I actually would prefer if Austria didn't piece out like that. Because now... Austria is more than happy to join. Papal States are more than happy to join as well. Hmm. New another loan. Great. Oh boy. People say it's willing to help me against Morocco. But I really need Spain to help me with that. Not good, so I can say. I don't like how things are developing. I mean, if Spain's smart, they should have naval superiority. They should be able to just park their boats over here in the Strait of Gibraltar. And Morocco won't be able to cross anyway. And it should be fine. Except the Ottomans have already landed troops here on Italy. Interesting. I see a Spanish decline happening very soon. Free trade is winning debates. This again, huh? Give me damn mercantilism. And also, while I'm at it, let's strengthen my government a few times. I have the military points, let's do it. Okay, and okay. Can still fall attack, no problem, even with the half time penalties. I'm gonna buy another one. Strength in government. So now my Republican tradition is back up to 44. Not as bad as it was before. I can't let it go too low. If it goes too low, I'll actually become a dictatorship, and then from there I'll become a monarchy, so that'll be bad. Let's have this. Wow, Fossum awesome is 43 now, that's amazing. Let's go improve our outrage nations again. Portugal declare Benin. Disputes affecting governments. Republics are successful when the important families are ready. Okay. Uh, whatever. Can't be helped. Scotland, except the peace of England. Wait, what? Oh, wow. Ha! Huh. France will cede Paris to England. Ha! Huh. Fascinating! I don't like that. I do not like that. I'm back to looking for friends again. And now nobody wants to be my friend. Well, that's my concern. Oh, look at this. Malbec to seed stuff to Ethiopia. Malbec to seed stuff to Mercuria. Wait, only two provinces? Huh. Much less than I would have expected. Uh, Malmux will announce it claims on Talib. Okay. Austria start influencing Salzburg. Trade protection. Clemson. Hmm. I am scared of the Ottomans. Who wants to be my friend? Austria should have no reason to hate me, right? Right? I'm allied to France, so definitely don't want to be my friend. 
Unfortunately, Poland is not rival to Ottomans, but even but that said, Poland isn't even that strong this game. In fact, Lithuania might even be stronger. Maybe. Love Lithuania land is pretty terrible. Must be Kiel Kazan. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Oh my god. Uh, that's gonna be interesting. I uh, cause Bally trade protection against Lamson. There's an Ottoman army right there in Italian soil, which is a slight concern. Uh, sorry, Spain. And I should feel terrible. So far, I've dishonored every single alliance call to arms. You've paid off the debt of Sweden. Come on, France, pay off my debt. I know you want to. How big is my mercs now? Only 5k. How come I'm still losing, uh, earning so little money? I was earning much more money before. What the heck? What's happening with all my money? I'm getting 10.25 uh, from that. Corruption, maybe? Maybe? Oh, it's a new year. Let's grab these two. Uh, do I have any new units? Nope. We have 40k manpower, so that's kind of nice. Austria is becoming more and more scary. But that said, at some point, Austria will end up losing a lot more to the Netherlands, so there is that. I don't like the fact that France is my. Uh, uh, France, my ally, has lost Paris though, because Paris is a 50 development province. That's not good. Morocco, okay. Yeah, Spain is definitely not doing so hard. Austria forced East Frisia to break alliance with Galray. Galray is on the firing line. Austria is supposed to protect the empire, not swallow it. Oh boy. Yare has allied to Denmark. There's no way Denmark can put up a fight. Austria has declared on Yare. Imperial liberation, huh? Okay. We'll see how well that works out. All of the old Naples has been occupied. Well, most of it. That says, if Spain is smart, they could put one hell of a fight up in Messina. If Spain is smart. I don't know how smart Spain is. Because I'm the people of Muscovy, uh, Leopold, uh, the 8th Johann of Austria has been elected emperor. We don't really earn much money. I don't get it. We're okay, earning 5 ducats a month now. Weird. Oh, that's not good. Our spy has been discovered. He's going to be useless for a while. We can fabricate on not much. Fabricate on that. Syena, who are your friends? Just Savoy. Syena, get ready to die. I want war. France, pay off down Denmark. Okay. These Ottomans are scary. <laughs> I mean, I've already kind of blocked them off from being as scary as they could be by blocking off all the Egyptian land, but they've already got all the Syrian land um, already, so that, that's, they're really pretty scary, as it is. Um, I'll just grab you. Actually, I don't need a military advisor right now. It's fine, I have plenty of military points. In fact, we have plenty of all points. The only thing we don't have plenty of is money. Can we do something with the state right now? Ask you for contributions. Sounds like a good idea. Nothing I can do here. Nothing I can do here. Let's repay a loan. And once I get this uh, fabrication done, I, I will take over the sign. Uh, festivities. Gain stability? Yes, of course I gain stability. I mean, gain one base tax in Benghazi sounds nice, until you consider Benghazi is a terrible province as it is anyway. So, arrange festivities. Back to positive stability. 
And we have extra influence from here as well. That's kind of nice. But this is a relatively weak France, this game. And I don't like it, because I need them. Trust your neighbor. Game wants ability. Oh. That's kind of nice. You are fighting against Galway, Denmark, and Norway. Denmark's not going to hold out for very long. Come on, hurry up. I'm going to call Pepper State into this as well. Assuming they don't get any other allies. Which Austria said piece of Galway? Okay, that was fast. That was very fast. Okay. Um, this is part of my state, Tuscany. So I want this real bad. Okay. More conversions being done. Let's go and convert Alexandria. 66 months. Vestalize Syena. No, we're going to take it over. I'm not going to Vestalize them. Reclaim pizza. I would love to. If I can get someone to help me do it. Because I can't do it myself. Uh, modern theocracy. Let's go ahead and grab that. We get another group of ideas. We have a ton of lots of points. What do I want? Well, I could get an Ammon idea. Innovative is always good. Religious is okay. Problem is, they have votes now at the end. That said, it certainly would help me convert all this land here. And it would certainly help me with the rebels, which we are struggling with after every single major war. Uh, what else? Economic is rubbish, in my opinion. Expansion is useless to us, because we're not going to expand anywhere. Administrative will make... Uh, core creation costs cheaper, but right now I don't think that's really a problem. Humanists will mean we pretty much never have to deal with brands again, which is also kind of nice. So pretty much either humanists, religious, or we can get another military idea, which is tempting, if only for the reason that we are currently struggling with our low manpower, low cash amount, and low, low force limit against potentially much stronger powers. So I'm actually really tempted to go for um, either plutocratic or quality. I always love quality, but Pluto Crown is also kind of nice. That's rubbish, but that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Like, there's a lot of nice things about Pluto Cratic. So I'll think about it because we don't have enough military power to grab one right now anyway, so it's fine. We're not in a hurry. What's our next ideas anyway? Plus one diplomatic relations, kind of nice. Uh, stability costs cheaper, whatever. Yearly Republic Edition, plus 0.5. Wow, that's actually really good. Oh, we get another free general. That's kind of nice. Let's grab another free general. Yeah, I think it was you, wasn't it? Two, four, three. Not bad. Not as good as this guy, sure, but not bad. Although, I could just best slice Aina. Grab his mission and we can do it quickly before he can get any allies. He's currently improving Montefred and Hungary. If you get a line with Hungary, game over. I can't hack you. Cardinal Minister. One of the Cardinals in Lucca has proven to be a skilled administrator and already provides useful advice to a dodge. At this point, making a minister in our government would almost be a, almost be only a formality, but an important formality nonetheless, since he may grow more powerful yet. Having a Cardinal in our service will certainly lend us credibility with the Pope and strengthen the sentiment that Lucca is a Catholic nation first and foremost. So I'll regain 10 prestige. Which is, eh. Or, stability costs cheaper, mystery strength plus one, tolerance of true faith plus one, tolerant heretics minus two, yearly papal influence plus 0.5. Heretics are these, which is relevant because we have no heretics. Although that might not always be the case. Because we are being converted forcibly. Uh, still, Let's go ahead and have Carno in administration for the next 20 years. Clergy also gains 5 influence. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Okay, when the heck is this going to be done? It's taking ages. Do they have an like espionage? They do. That's why taking ages. Uh, screw it. We're taking a mission. Best last line, you know. Cool. We're going to war. Enough sitting around. Also, go away, Mercs. 
Whoops, what I do? Okay, you guys, go away. Next, how many loans do we have? A few. Let's keep the loans for now. I'm going to buy some troops. One, two, three, four, five. Five troops. I'm going to rely a lot on the Papal States Army to help me defeat Savoy's army here. I'm going to break Savoy's relationship with Austria, and we're going to beat him. Yes, beat him. I believe our aggressive expansion is non-existent in this area. Yep, because we spent so much time waiting around. So let's do something. Also, Switzerland. Friendship? No friendship. I'm no longer a great power, which is unfortunate. Oh, wow. Temperance is still alive, so that must be Temperance. That red demo has to be Temperance. But wow, the threshold to become a great power now has really jumped up all of a sudden. That's a shame. Oh, well, so be it. We should have plenty here to be able to uh, defeat Saina. So I am ready to rock and roll. But I think that will be for next time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next time for more of Lucky Lucker. Until then, see you later.